Well, uh, today I'm going to do another uh, <clears throat> uh, sort of like a show and tell or update or whatever stuff I've gotten um, for Blu-rays and such. Um, I don't have too much, you know, I know it looks like I've got a good amount, but uh, I've got a bit of a bone to pick uh, at the very beginning um, with this. And that's with uh, Arrow, um, particularly with how they've uh, handled uh, the Hugo film that I got. Um, and... Um, now, I want to be careful, and I also want to show, but I have uh, taken pictures and uh, of the, uh, the issues I have. But basically, <clears throat> a lot of this is kind of broken on the inside. Um, uh, if I can gently get this out of here, it has a little problem, uh, as a little... Um, and you might say, uh, you might see it here, um, that's kind of a problem, and something just fell onto the floor. Now, that's unfortunate, but it isn't a major, you know, deal breaker. Um, but then on the inside, um, gotta be really careful to not further break this as this has this is how it came to me uh, be careful but the uh, the whole bottom of this is broken and I gotta hold on to this to ensure this doesn't fall or anything um, and this you know the poster kind of ripped uh, it wasn't a huge rip but it was ripped it was unfortunate um, uh, here it is uh, again not major but still it's this is supposed to be brand new and this you know I got this last month and this was kind of wrinkled a bit and the thing is all this probably should not happen and carefully, if I can. Put it back as careful as possible. Um, now, uh, I have um, watched all the discs and the discs work. So that's good. But I took pictures of all this stuff. And you know, email was sent with those pictures and describing how, upon getting this, this uh, was how uh, uh, this is how it uh, arrived. Now, of course, you could say shipping is part of the reason. You know, sure, the stuff with the rip and kind of wrinkled thing with the little stuff on the inside to give some more details. Yeah, you can say that's on them. But also, to an extent, shipping is on them because what they do, at least with this in particular, uh, they have a box. It's not that huge, but it's a big enough to where basically like this is like how wide it is. You can put it like this diagonally inside and there's no like bubble wrap or one of those big kind of uh, balloon type uh, uh, things to help ensure like something like a movie or any other kind of object that could potentially break when shipping uh, is around it. It's just that. That's just it. There's nothing uh, beneath it or above it to try and give it any kind of cushion. So if there's any potential damage uh, to the packaging... On the outside, it doesn't affect on the inside. So, there is a good degree of fault on Arrow's part. 
and so they say they're going to be sending me something, but as of now, as August is going and almost coming to an end, maybe by this time, I, I, obviously I'm recording this in advance, but it's been some weeks since I've gotten this. Got it late because I, it was still in the pre-order stage, but I got it later because I didn't pre-order it months ago. And so because of that, I got it, I don't know, around a few weeks and around the area that we're in. So I've had this for about a month, just long enough to be able to watch all the stuff on here, all the discs. If the discs work, fortunately, unfor I, I don't feel comfortable completely uh, watching this. Now, granted, I might not watch this too much. I mean, I do love Hugo. I think this is an excellent Scorsese film. But there is a delay in the, in the sending me a new uh, version because apparently they... I forget the very wording, but basically I think... The, I think this because this is the very first Scorsese film and I could be completely wrong on that, but... I don't recall seeing any Scorsese films listed in by being released by Arrow Home Video. So because of that, um, I guess to some extent, them releasing a Scorsese film, potentially it might have been a very overwhelming thing in that so many people wanted this film. And so just shipping it out to people who have ordered it might have been a huge thing, and as a result, they're not able to really, uh, you know, properly, you know, didn't have enough in advance to uh, ensure any influx of stuff where people are ordering it, pre-ordering and all that. So, I don't know, I guess there's some kind of shortage. I don't know. I can only guess, so... I don't know, but this is unfortunate, but hopefully by the very end of this month, I will actually get a brand new uh, uh, version of this. Um, if so, hopefully I will be able to write in below that, yes, indeed I have, or otherwise, who knows, I write in the pinned comment, I don't know, uh, of this video that... Yes, indeed, I did get a uh, 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 case and everything that is not broken at all, and it was properly stored. That's the big thing. I could be. The, the way they have it for shipping is just bad, I think. It's just not good. They need to do better. Um, because for stuff like other things I've gotten... Now, granted, I did not get this from them right away. I got this from eBay, but, you know... The other stuff I've gotten is pretty much like this. It's pretty thick. Um, of course, this is the normal Blu-ray. It doesn't have 4K. But, you know, it has this in here. It's pretty good. Um, and then it has like a, you know, some kind of booklet of sorts, as well as a poster. This has a poster, but the booklet's like a little thing you would have originally gotten way back when on... Uh, like the DVDs and then later Blu-rays, but you know, there's this. So in a way, if it came like that, uh, um, <clears throat> so for something like this, it's pretty thick and it's very fairly protective. Unlike, you know, that that just has a typical slip cover. Um, um, so that's a bit unfortunate that. The Hugo uh, release from Arrow was kind of broken, which in part could be because of uh, shipping, but also to an extent because of just how things were done by Arrow. I think some part was Arrow's fault to some extent, but it's nice that they're going to try it, or they are going to send something. It's just, I guess, there's not, a, but not too much in stock. And so hopefully they'll also make sure to have the, when they ship it, they have something to like either wrap it or have something above and underneath it to some extent to help any kind of cushioning. Because, you know, 
uh, other, uh, <clears throat> you know, other uh, companies, be it like Criterion or Shout Factory or whatever, or if I order from like Amazon or Barnes and Noble, there's always something to, like, to cushion it, you know, to try and protect it. To if they don't have a bubble wrap, it's usually like compressed and there's something around it on the inside that's. Uh, very helpful to ensure such a thing does not uh, like like such a damages does not happen during shipping but you know this is what I've typically gotten um, uh, in the past from arrow so this is the first arrow release I've gotten that doesn't have that but then again from everything on the website didn't look like it was going to be like that anyway but still uh, I just wanted to say that I have a gripe but all the discs work and all the stuff is cool I do still have the uh, original normal blu-ray right here so yeah pretty good film it's like the only kids film Scorsese has ever made in his life. Um, his most recent PG film. Uh, which, uh, I believe the last time he ever had a PG film was like in the 80s. And then of course that was before PG-13 existed, so, you know. There is that, but also with Scorsese, um... After Hours from Criterion, um, uh, I had seen this many, many years ago and uh, enjoyed it. Uh, but, you know, this is definitely an underrated film from Scorsese. Um, obviously, some of the films from the 80s from him were kind of were fairly underrated. You know, after Raging Bull, it's like everything else was kind of just like... You know, it just wasn't as acclaimed or beloved at the time. <clears throat> if it was acclaimed, you know, there was like some sort of like, it took time for some of those films to really get the love they deserve or recognition they deserve. It's just like, you know, just sometimes time just will help some movies. And this is, how, this is a film that really uh, benefits from help uh, of, of, the, of time going on. It's just like, it, you know, time has been very kind to this film after hours. As well as uh, the King of Comedy, which I've heard people wish and hope that uh, that film comes out on on the Criterion Collection at some point. That'd be cool. So this is the 4K and Blu-ray and you know, Blu-ray combo pack. Um, yeah, this is just a, a really cool film. Um, might talk about this at some point. Same with a. Uh, Hugo at some uh, some time in the future, but yeah, this is a very uh, a, a pretty good film. Um, not much else to say, really. Uh, and the last uh, film I got again, not too much. Uh, at least, not enough to really say of note yeah i i haven't gotten too much this summer i if I, the last thing i would have gotten would have been yeah the last update which i got a bunch of stuff but you know summer time trying to enjoy stuff and all that but this came out around the time where i before i actually I, which i i ordered this before so this should have been the previous um uh you know update that I did some time ago but I didn't because I didn't get it yet and this is uh John Wick chapter four now I was going to uh get it to, uh, uh originally on Steelbook because I have the first four on Steelbook of course these two do not have 4k blu-ray discs this one does along with the normal blu-ray disc um 
and I was going to uh, get the 4K steelbook. Reason I did not was because at Walmart they offered uh, a bunch of cool stuff with this. Um, obviously, you open this, you obviously get the film. It'll all come out. It's just, I will say one thing: this all it all is all snug, so you don't have to ever worry about all the stuff that's in here coming out. So. You obviously get the film works well it's still an excellent film i still love it uh so uh no complaints there but you also get a bunch of cool stuff also um this was the on the back of this originally, but you know, I had that sticky stuff that comes off easily, so I took that off. And it has this, you know, a continental, you know, a soccer. And on the inside, you open it, and you get a, you know, this a pennant that if you've seen the film, you understand and know what this is. I have not taken this out of the packaging because I don't see a reason to really myself. I don't plan on wearing it, this pin. And then the uh, Continental Osoka Oasis uh, Clayman Civility card. There you go. These uh, cool uh, uh, cards. That's just fell on the floor because why wouldn't it? Uh, it's this. And considering, you know, this could be the final film of the John Wick series, the main series, even though it was said that there's supposed to be a fifth film before this came out, and then it seems like that will definitely happen. Uh, regardless, this had enough cool stuff that I thought, you know, if this happens to be the last movie, why not just have, get something different and cool? And this also has... Uh, Map of Paris, where if you've seen the film, you understand why. I hope you can see it all. I think you can. Not yeah. Anyway, so all this stuff is pretty cool get uh with it uh and hence why i thought you know I, even though i would like the consistency of all of them being steel books i can't recall the others having stuff like this so i thought you know why not get this it wasn't all that uh expensive either it was probably about like 
put this back in May. I got this in like June. So recalling that, uh, that far back, I think it was like, this all was like about, with all this stuff, 35, I think, 35 bucks, maybe 40, but even then that's not that bad of a price. Honestly, considering how sometimes some places like to mark stuff like this even more expensive. So honestly, I have no pro. I, you know that wasn't a big deal in the long run. But yeah, uh, so I have the last uh, film currently of the John Wick franchise, and putting this back is always fun because. Because why should it be easy, you know? Get that down in there. It's like every, you know, first time I did this, putting it in and out, it took it in and out. It was actually quite easy. You know, it wasn't a problem. After the first time, you know, it decides not to be so cooperative. Again, I can do it. Yeah, the John Wick films are pretty fun, or, uh, if you haven't seen them. Uh, I made sure to not uh, spoil what happened on the off chance people haven't seen it, but yeah. You know, yeah. Overall, you know, pretty nice uh, packaging. Got no problems with this. Uh, happy with it. Um, yeah. I know this might not uh, have been the most exciting and uh, amazing uh update video I've done. Um, there were some films I would like to have gotten already, but, you know, money and stuff, you know, you gotta pick and choose what to get and whatnot, you know, if you're gonna order stuff, you know, pre-order and whatnot. I have pre-ordered some Arrow films, so I will not say what those are, but, you know, when I get them, they'll probably be um, in the very next, uh, update video, which, uh, will be probably some months from now. Um, it's August, but that could also be, uh, maybe, uh, instead of, uh, a November, it could be December. I don't know. Um, but yeah, uh, also the whole thing with, uh, uh addressing the shipping and, packaging and putting things in is kind of an unfortunate thing but I thought I should at least uh be up front about that but you know I know these things happen and it's nice that they will send me um a new like uh case and everything because yeah I don't want to have to just be incredibly careful as well as um yeah, unfortunate how things were kind of just wrinkled and ripped a bit. I mean, you know, they weren't ripped too bad, badly, but, you know, uh, still, you know, if it's one thing if I ripped it accidentally, like moving it or whatever, or trying to unfold it and for whatever reason it might have been not the easiest to unfold and then in the process of that it accidentally ripped that'd be one thing it'd be on me but it was kind of ripped like that to begin with it's a bit disappointing but you know whether it was the whole broken on the inside and all that was totally on the shipping's fault or not i don't know that's just like it's be i can't say whether or not but the fact that they didn't put anything around or uh, above and uh, below 
the uh, Blu-ray case definitely contributed to the fact that it got damaged. So if it wasn't all that on the inside and that on the out uh, bit on the uh, outside of the opening is on the fault of the shipping of it. The fact they didn't do anything to protect it uh, um, <clears throat> around and above and below it is definitely on their fault, or it is on them. You know that is their fault, and uh, yeah. Again, I I didn't want to have to say something like that negatively a bit, but you know, I, I thought it was a something that should be addressed, and it is good that Arrow will be. Uh, doing what they can to set a new thing. It's just unfortunate it's delayed because I guess I don't know. Again, the maybe the lack of foresight and how Scorsese is such a huge beloved uh, filmmaker. And again, I don't. I think this is the first time they have ever released a, a Scorsese film. So perhaps Arrow, to some extent, was not completely prepared for. Just how many people would want this film, as well as perhaps maybe they didn't have as much in stock. Uh, uh, like, like basically, like the demand was uh, way more than the supply, and so um, they weren't able to get everything out in the timely manner they hoped, and. Uh, and so as a result, when something like this happens for me, and who knows, maybe that's something that other people have had experience too, they might not have been able to totally, uh, you know, been like, we'll send you a new one, but it's going to be a while. Uh, so, you know, they might have to make more. So I hope they will actually, you know, be make sure to... Um, be careful and uh, at least wrap it around like with like like bubble wrap. I think that would be good, uh, especially from here on out. And maybe have a bit of a bigger box or do it in an envelope of sorts. I don't know, but you know that's just that's me. Um, so yeah, I hope uh, I hope this wasn't too boring, though I can definitely see why it would be. And, and oh man, it's pretty long already. Um, yeah, sorry for the length. Um, but yeah, uh, next uh, next time is the, my my four hundredth uh, video, so. That will be something. Um, and I have an idea of what I want to do. So I hope uh, this update was fine. And you're, you're all right with it. I know it's not perfect. So I hope you can bear with me. And uh hopefully understand why I was a bit scatterbrained a bit, especially with the whole Arrow-Hugo thing, but anyway, uh, I'm sure that will be resolved at some point in the future. Might not be able to write it right now for, like, the video at any point, but hopefully at some point that will all be resolved. And if it, if and when it does, I will at least be sure to write in the comments and pin it whether or not it has been resolved. Hello, um, I forgot how, um, <clears throat> I did have another, uh, uh, a film that I got from, uh, Arrow, which I didn't forget, it's just, I, I don't know, I, I didn't really forget about it, it's just I didn't put it with, uh, the rest of, uh, the other movies that I got for whatever reason. I don't know. Um, I guess because of how the whole Hugo thing uh, was. I just was so much on a, so much on a rant. 
I knew I didn't talk about John Wick, and then I also got After Hours not that long ago, and plus that's a Scorsese film also, but this is a film that I had talked about I was going to get not long after I got the uh, American 4K version, which I never knew this was happening until later, and so I got this, and then sometime after ordering that, or pre-ordering it, uh, uh, this, uh, the Arrow version of The Lighthouse in 4K, um, a 4K Blu-ray, um, of course there's, this was the, this is also on the, uh, the cover that I then took out, or and then, uh, switched backwards, because, you know, why not just have the original version, uh, the original cover, or poster, art, all that. And then, of course, just like all the other uh, versions, Aero uh, stuff that they have, when it comes into something like this, you've got the poster in there also of the new alternate cover, as well as the old poster. So I'll go and... Uh, Get this out. And then on the other side, there is the original poster. And then, of course, there's also a booklet that always uh, comes with it, which is pretty cool. This was done through Universal also. Uh, I guess they handle in international stuff. I'm only assuming. And then they have a bunch of stuff here. And, and pictures. Um, obviously, I love the lighthouse. Talked about it a lot. Also, I have uh, it three times now. Uh, I have this version this 4k version which i don't know if i would have ever gotten the other 4k version that came before this honestly uh, and this fell on before because why of course not things always have to fall on the floor it seems like um got this um also here's the back if you're curious at all uh, yeah. It's a lot of text, because there's a lot of stuff. Um, so there's the Arrow version, the original Blu-ray, um, with the typical uh, special features, Lighthouse, A Dark Stormy Tale, and audio commentary with writer, co-writer, director, uh, Robert Eggers, as well as deleted scenes. And, of course, all that is here in this 4K version, amongst other things. This is through uh, A24. And, yeah, there's a lot of... Here's the disc, and then there's a bunch of stuff here. Um, yeah, and there's some new stuff that was only on here. I don't believe was on the Arrow set. So, in a way, I do have, so far, a complete... Uh, stuff of the lighthouse. Um, I love this film. It is my favorite film of 2019. One of the best films of, of the 2010s for sure. Uh, I don't know if it would be my absolute favorite, but it would definitely be up there somewhere. Uh, top 10 for sure. Maybe top 5. But I really love this film. I don't, uh, you know, if I ever do get this again, it would probably be because the Criterion Collection would have it. And uh, they would probably have to have brand new stuff only if that version could ever have. Because I don't Im imagine a lot of the stuff on here, the extras, would ever import to Criterion. Due to the fact that this is a, pretty much a complete and full-on Arrow release only. I doubt they would uh, do that, 
honestly. I mean, who knows? They might for a couple, but I seriously doubt it. I, I doubt they would ever want a company like Criterion or Shout Factory or Kino Lorber or any other kind of company that could uh, release this film again at some point down the line, maybe next year for its fifth anniversary, <laughs> um, to ever have the Lighthouse's extras that they had here. Uh, they would have to have a completely brand new stuff. And that would be the only way I think that could even remotely get my interest into buying it again. And I'd probably give the uh, normal Blu-ray version to my uh, mom, because if Criterion did it, they'd have a Blu-ray and a 4K Blu-ray. And I gave my uh, normal Blu-ray to my mom of Uncut Gems when I got the Criterion uh, version of that, so... Yep. So I forgot this film, all because I kept ranting on that, and that was really in my mind. And I remember the other two movies, because one, you know, John Wick was supposed to arrive, and then it didn't when it was supposed to, because, well, I pre-ordered it late. That seems to be a thing with me anymore. I pre-order something late, so I never get it uh, before or on the very day it's supposed to be out. And uh, that happened with Hugo. It happened with After Hours also. Did not pre-order it in time because I waited until the 50% off sale. And I also pre-ordered something else. But that won't be here till September. So hopefully that will be here on time. But who knows. It's through Barnes & Noble. So or if it's through Criterion, you will actually probably get it within the week. Barnes & Noble, on the other hand, not so much. But Anyway, enough of that kind of rant. I apologize for the consistent ranting I've done in this video. This should not actually be the case. But with the problems I've had with this case being broken and the delaying of this new thing I should be getting, I should have already probably gotten it within a couple weeks, honestly, after I... Literally the very day I got it, I made sure to have pictures and an email sent out because that's just, you know, very poor uh, handling and all that stuff. So I had to make sure I got all that done. And I really apologize for the length. And I probably don't even need this part, but I, I, I'm going to just have it anyway because this just seems like a big ranty video. So I completely apologize for the rant. I don't like doing rants of any kind, but the fact that something like this was broken, like the casing was broken, and then the inside of the one thing is with the discs is broken. That is annoying, and the one poster was a bit ripped, and um, also kind of wrinkled. It's brand new. That should not be the case. It's one thing if I did it myself. I actually ripped it or wrinkle it too much. That's one thing. That's on me. So it's on them. But yeah, this uh, yeah, this is a great uh, set. Uh, uh, arrow set by uh, 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 with the lighthouse. And honestly, I. I've gotten so accustomed to stuff like this for like special things, like with a poster and whatnot. I didn't really think anything else, really, with Hugo. I thought it would be something like this, but it wasn't. Not that that's a bad thing, but it's just like you kind of, after a while, you get stuff like this, where it's kind of like special. You kind of, after a while, expect something like this for any other kind of big special thing at least for me maybe i'm not, maybe i'm the only one and maybe that's my own fault probably is but anyway um that's all i really have to say here so uh i'll let the video finish and then uh you can then i guess leave my channel and be done with my rantingness so yeah Apologies again for the length of this video. It sh it, this is way too long. And uh, I will now shut up.
so this entire thing can end. So anyway, I hope all of you are doing well. Hope you're all having a great day. Hope you're all having a great week. And I'll see you next time. Please take care.